Uh, I'm from Ukraine originally. I was uh, 16 when I came to the United States first time. And before uh, moving to the United States, I never really heard of Islam much. Like I knew there's a religion. I knew about kind of the culture and traditions in the Middle East. But we haven't studied it much. I didn't really understand the concept of the hijab and all those things. So it was a very foreign concept to me, but it's something I was always really curious and open-minded about. Uh, hijab, when it comes to hijab itself, I used to be Christian Orthodox, Russian Orthodox. So when you go to church in Russia, you actually, as a woman, would cover your head. So you would wear a headscarf, which is, don't call it a hijab, but just call it a headscarf. And uh, you would wear like, you know, pretty modest clothing. You would wear a long skirt, you would wear long sleeve shirt. You Like you could not walk into a church in shorts this would be in extremely disrespectful like this is not just not something you do right as well as you cover your head so this is part of uh russian orthodox religion that made sense to me you know i haven't come across islam until i was 18 years old i didn't happen to have any muslim friends you know i grew up in a very like Christian society, but it's it wasn't really practiced practiced well. When it comes to living in the Ukraine and Russia, uh, religion is not as important as culture is, and there's a lot of social norms uh, due to the fact that during Soviet Union, uh, religion was actually prohibited. Uh, like you could not go to church, you could not go to the mosque, none of those things. Uh, so people are not only now are getting back into religion. You would still celebrate Christmas. I was baptized when I was a baby, but it was more of uh, my mom's logic was that this is just a way to protect you. She, my mom is actually not Christian, believe it or not. She celebrates Christian holidays because they're official holidays, but she's not necessarily reading the Bible and practicing religion. She just believes in higher power and that's all. Since I was little, there was a lot of puzzling questions that I've seen in Christianity that didn't make sense to me. Uh, maybe they make sense to you and cr you're Christian and that's great. I'm not here to, you know, criticize your religion, whatever that is. I'm just telling you my story. A lot of things in Christianity didn't make sense to me. Uh, I was very curious as a child and I would ask those questions to the respond and the responses I was getting from adults were not making sense to me, you know, but as a child, you just kind of assume whatever your, you know, older, pa your parents, your grandparents tell you, this is the right thing. So when I came to the United States, I came to the Midwest, which is a mostly Christian community, right? United States overall is a Christian country. There's not that many Muslims here, uh, but it's just, it was very different from the Orthodox church I went to. I went to a Methodist church here and uh, people, like women would come in without their head covered, right, in shorts. Uh, it was very free environment. Um, like, I don't know if it made complete sense to me, but I knew for sure when I was praying, I was praying to the higher power. I'd say I was still confused on the idea of Jesus being the son of God. Uh, this is really what kind of didn't make sense to me. If it makes sense to you, that's great. It just didn't make sense to me. Uh, so I was slightly confused, but I still thought of myself as Christian because it seemed like a safe religion to be in. I knew there is a higher power and so far in my life that seemed to be the only way to worship it. When I was 18, this is when like things really have changed for me. Um, I don't want to get into too much of details, uh, but let's just say I met a Muslim person and they gave me a Quran. They actually fi found a Quran for me in Russian in the United States. So, you know, I just said, hey, I'm curious to learn more. And next time I saw them, they brought me Quran <laughs> and a couple of books that came along with the Quran kind of explaining 
the bigger concepts in Islam. I said, okay, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. I was curious, I was honestly curious about, I didn't have any prejudice whatsoever to any religions. Uh, I just wanted to speak to people who practice those religions and why they chose them and what is different. I'm naturally a very curious person and I wanna know why you do what you do. Why do you believe in this and live your life by the laws of this book, right? I wanna know, I'm curious. Uh, so I started reading not the Quran itself, but the supplemental book that came with it I'm gonna list the name of it down below because honestly the best book ever you can find it in English and It just changed my whole perspective to be honest with you to answer the question why I converted to Islam because it made sense This is the best answer I can give you because it makes sense People are different, uh, there's a lot of boundaries that you may be confused about, but it made perfect sense to me. Uh, after I read that book, I just was so impressed, So it made so much sense. Um, I knew that there's one higher power, right, one God I pray to, there's no middlemen need to be present there, which... Uh, especially in Orthodox Christianity, like pastors play a huge role. You have to go and talk to a pastor instead of just talk talking to God, which never really made sense to me because you should be able to just talk to God and, you know, have that communication. Um, but that's what made so much sense, right? The each and every rule, if you uh, can say that, that I learned about, I wanted to argue, right? So after reading that book, I was shocked. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with myself because all of a sudden this makes sense, right? What do I do now? So I, um, in my college, I started talking to, I found Muslim women, right? I found Muslim girls who were studying in my college and I was like, hey, can I talk to you? I'm looking into it. They were so friendly, they were so helpful. They're still my friends. Uh, and it's kind of crazy because, dang, I was giving them a hard time. I was arguing every single thing I could argue because I had such hard time believing that, that this is my way, right? I, was, I had just so many boundaries I had to break. I had so many questions for them. Uh, I remember disputing every single thing and oh my god we would talk for hours and i got to talk to girls from different countries morocco tunisia and pakistan right so each of them had different views and different cultural views but the end of the day having those three different perspectives really helped me put it all together and realize that i can be a type of muslim i want to be just to give you an idea i was studying islam for two years before I converted. It is not an easy decision to do so um, because it is your change of lifestyle, it's changing everything, 